Okay, the way we're gonna do this is we gotta shim this thing up and make it work. And we got the 280 motor. Here it is. Get the 280. We're gonna shim it with some lead. All right, so I've got my first piece which fits in nicely right there. Got my second piece. Fits in nicely right there. Now, is this high enough? So what we gotta do is we gotta get some high powers and we gotta look. Okay, let's see. Did we make it? I'm gonna show you how we can tell. I don't think we made it yet. Uh -huh. So I'm looking across at the worm gears. I think we go one more of these guys higher. So maybe this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, trim the end of him. Wait, let's trim the end of this guy too. Because we are, well, no, we don't need to do that. Okay, let's trim the end of this guy. Because we are going to put some truck lights in there. About like that. Then we're going to trim him about like. Okay. Does he fit? Nope, not quite. Almost. So let's trim a little more. Does he fit now? Yes, he does, indeed. Indeed, and I'll bet that's just right. That probably just right. We put this on here, 280, and we are at the correct height. Okay, so now that we got the correct height and everything, we're gonna take our goop. Our amazing goop and as you know I keep it in this glass so that the goop is always down inside here so it's like fresh so I can oh so I can so I can uh, use it and it's totally fresh all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we'll take a knife and we will uh, Go ahead and we'll start with the first one. All right, so we'll put some here and here, and we'll put that one in. That's how we're gonna shim with some lead. Yep, Let's get them in there, right there. Okay, then we're gonna take this one. And we're gonna wipe it. We're shimming right there. Yeah, just like that. Then we take the third one. We'll shim him in right about, about there. So that he's just right. Okay, there. Now our shims are in. Now what we gotta do is we're gonna take <clears throat> we're gonna take the hose right here. Alright. We're gonna line this up a little bit, and then we're gonna cut. We're gonna line this up right in the middle here. <clears throat> we'll line this alongside, and then we're gonna cut a piece of about this long. Okay. Then we're gonna cut the back side. He's gonna be about that long. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to goop the motor. So I'm going to put the goop on the bottom. Watch it. I'll put them right in like, yeah. Okay. Then we're going to put in the front piece. We got ready right here. I think we're going to put the cap on. No, wait. We're going to put the, we're, we're going to put the, stuff on first and then we'll put the calf on so we're going to take our jewelers pliers and we're going to force this on here okay let's get them on here um, nope 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 okay if you can't get them on there take a take an exacto blade all right Take an exacto blade and just uh, just ream it a little bit, just a little bit. That's all you need. 
Okay, now let's see if we can get him on here. Uh oh, where'd he go? I know he's still around here. Uh oh, we lost him. We'll find him in a second. Let's uh, just keep going. Get the back side. We'll read in the back side. All right, so that side will go on here. Oh, we're going to get him on here. About like that. Yep. And we're going to figure out where did that worm gear go. I know he's here. He's got to be here somewhere. Unless I dropped him on the floor and I got I to go back and look on camera to see where he went. Along with, along with the other guy. All right, I will get back to this in a second and get it all ready. Using a green laser, I was able to recover the missing parts. Now we've got them on there, and he is straight across. So we're going to hold him like this, and then we're going to take two more, and that's going to make him. That should make him right, just right there. Okay truck's good everything's good now we wait now we wait and the goop will set up and that'll be it all right several hours later i believe we have a 280 motor nicely mounted with goop perfect just what we needed and we can loosen up the tolerance on these hoses which we will do because they don't need to be that tight like that see they don't need to be that tight they can be looser We'll do that when we test it. Otherwise, we now got our fuel tank good to go. And we've got our motor mounted. Look at that. A mighty 280 in a Train Master. There it is.